Okay, so in the essence of just making things simple for us, um, I'm going to get rid of a bunch of things here. You guys, of course, can keep it if you want. Um, I'm gonna just have one link called About Us up here. And to do that, I'm gonna go into the nav bar here, grab this one link, scroll down to link here, paste it, Get rid of that drop down. Get rid of the search form. And I'm also going to get rid of this other nav bar part here. Now, notice this one says nav bar right, and the other one did not. The other one, oops, the other one said just um, nav bar, nav. So this is the same thing, but it had navbar right, and that's why it was over to the right. If you leave out navbar right, it will stay on the left. Do a refresh. Now all we see is about us and MVP landing. The only reason I'm doing this is so we can like kind of complete the whole thing. Um, and now we are going to change join now into PayPal. Um, so go to PayPal.com. So sign in. If you don't have an account, sign up. It's free. Um, and after you do that, go into Merchant Services and look for Create Payment button for your website. Click that. And that's going to take you here. So go ahead and hit Create, bu create a Button. Now, this is going to create either you can do a Buy Now button or we could do a button that has multiple drop down prices. So we can call this CFE course, so Coding for Entrepreneurs course. And I wanna have a multiple options, so I click that. And let's say like basic, basic 99, basic plus 149, and let's say premium 199. Cool, so done. Now we can see the button showing up there. Pretty cool, shipping, zero. Tax rate, um, eight. Use your secure merchant ID, you definitely wanna do that. Uh, track inventory, if you want, you can kind of see all this stuff. I'm not going to track inventory. Um, and then customize in advanced features. This is something you do want to do. So quantities ordered, I'm not going to do that, no. Um, can your customer add special messages if you want? Sure, go ahead. Now this is the important one. Take them to this URL when they cancel their checkout and when they complete it. So if they cancel it, let's just take them home. So HTTP. Let's just take them home and I'm gonna do mvplanding.com, actually http slash slash mvplanding.com. Just bring them right back to our main website. Otherwise, that and then thank you. So if you remember, this is something that is, we leave it on thank you, which is what we're doing here when we go to thank you. All right, thank you for joining. Um, so we can keep it as thank you or whatever you want to do. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave it as thank you just like that. So make sure that you have that URL correct. Once it's done and they finish their checkout, they're going to go back to your site and it'll say that. All right, so hit create button. Oh, dropped out menu name is required. Oops, so this is going to be course. Skipped one part. Luckily, it told me what I what I skipped. All right, and let's just make sure that everything else is okay. So it takes us to our home page, and it takes us to thank you. All right, so let's create the button now. Uh, now it generates code for us. So now, if you look at this, this is just a bunch of HTML code stuff that you should be somewhat familiar with. So select the code. Hit Command C or Control C, depending on what you're on. Go back into Komodo Edit, and in our sign up area, 
let's put it right above this join now stuff and paste that in press save um, let's go back into our MVP landing and here we go so now we have it in here it's showing us the button and if we click on it it's going to take us to PayPal uh, and it does so if I go back I'm gonna change a few things here now first of all I don't want their button or their image so I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna get rid of I see the image is right here so before I get rid of it I'm just gonna put a button underneath it and do input type equals to submit so that submits the form and then I'm gonna just I'm just gonna copy this down here save that so I'm giving it a button type of success so if I do a refresh here it now has our button and if I click on it it's taking me to PayPal as you see in the corner there and it does so I can actually get rid of input type image there's a gif here uh, I don't want those two things so let's get rid of them and hit save do a refresh now we have our code here we also probably want to put our title tag above it so we'll do like pre-order do a refresh now it says pre-order and maybe let's add a little break above the submit button there now we have that so let's delete or cut this for now and put it into our join page I'll explain why later um, do a refresh all right so I think we accidentally took a div tag with it and the reason I knew that is because company just jumped up for no reason whatsoever so back into sign up put that div tag back do a refresh there it goes down so now we have pre-order and if we want to change any of the layout of this we do that inspect element again and we can notice it has like a table here we can actually take things out of the table so if we just delete th that and that it's no longer in the table uh, oops we want to delete the closing table as well and then we want to add a couple breaks save it do a refresh course and if we hit submit it should still take us to PayPal and now it should do the basic and it does and it shows tax cool um, that's great so underneath this we can do join this course now please pre-order I don't know if you'd want to say that as your text but there it is and if we really wanted to not show that course um, text we should just delete this right here and also get rid of the table element stuff just make it clean for you guys notice this is the select tag do a refresh there that goes away hit submit again I'm just testing and testing to make sure it's working and it's working all right cool so um, next we could make this form into we can make it into a C a, a bootstrap form uh, it's pretty easy to do so let's go into bootstrap and just show you what I mean by a bootstrap form so we'll go to CSS and then go to forms and if we scroll down we're gonna notice this class called form control we want to copy that and we're gonna go into Komodo edit where select is add that class save it back into Chrome back in MVP landing do a refresh now our button kind of fills up the whole thing um, we can probably get rid of maybe not two or we can get rid of both of those breaks there and now we have uh, a little bit nicer of a pre-order button and if we hit submit to check to make sure that PayPal is still working it is still working 
Um, the redirect is not going to work until we make it work, so we'll do that in the next one.